K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, Technology and Livelihood Education, Learner's Packet Leap, Carpentry, Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Learning Outcome Number 2, Perform Basic Preventive Maintenance. Hello everyone, I am your TLA teacher, Sir Lance. Welcome to our new learning competency in Carpentry. In this new video lesson, we will learn the procedures in checking tools and equipment, also the basic types of lubricants and their uses. Learning outcome number 2. Perform basic preventive maintenance. 2.1. Repair defective tools. 2.2. Conduct preventive maintenance of carpentry tool. Checking of tools and equipment procedures. Checking of tools and equipment procedures. First, conduct regular checking and inventory of tools and equipment. Second, test functionality of tools and equipment. Third, separate functional from non-functional tools and equipment. Fourth, label tools and equipment that are no longer serviceable to prevent other people from using it. Five, Record the condition of tools and equipment using an inspection report form. 6. Return tools and equipment on its storage properly after inspection. Performing basic preventive maintenance is one of the most important routine in a workplace. Through this, the lifespan of tools and equipment will increase and they can be used for a longer period. One way to do this is to apply appropriate lubricants on tools and equipment used in the workplace. Basic types of lubricants and their uses. 1. Oil. It is the commonly used lubricant for tools and equipment. It is a thin liquid used for hinges, tool maintenance, and sharpening blades. Use oil when you want to lubricate something without the resistance inherent in using grease. You can also use oil when you need lubrication to wick into a small space without having to take anything apart. Don't use oil when the surfaces being lubricated are exposed to dust or dirt which can eventually come up and cause more friction. You need to keep things around the surfaces clean because oils are low in viscosity and thus tend to drip and run. The surfaces are exposed to water or anything that can wash the oil away. The second type of lubricant and its use is grease. It is made by mixing oil a thickener and at times additional lubricants like PTFE or Teflon. However, its texture and stickiness helps it adhere to surfaces better. Use grease when on gears, bearings, chains, linkages. You need the lubrication to stick to the surface for a long period of time. You want to seal out particles of dust or water droplets. You use the machine so seldom that you may forget to oil it. Don't use grease when your machine has fast moving or fine parts and grease could slow it down or create too much resistance. If you need to keep the area clean, moving parts can Fling grease around. You have fine or fast moving mechanisms where thick grease will create too much resistance. 
Time to engage. Learning tasks. Direction. Create a personal maintenance schedule for your tools, devices, and equipment inside the house using the calendar template below. Do this in a piece of paper. The timer start now. watching